we are going to set up a component list linked to Aspen properties to be used in the Aspen Absorption Simulation of Production of Nitrogen from Air. We start by going to the Simulation Explorer and looking in the Component Lists folder. We double-click Configure Properties and the Physical Properties Configuration menu comes up. Select Use Aspen Property System and you can see there are three options available. The first option, Import Aspen Properties File, is useful if you already have an Aspen Properties file, the file with extension APR BKP, from another simulation or from an Aspen Properties study that has been done before. The second option, Edit Using Aspen Properties, actually starts the Aspen Properties graphical user interface and you can then start defining an Aspen Properties file. Once you finish defining and generating the module, this file will be saved and embed in the simulation file. The third option, Use Properties Definition File, is useful if you have previously generated from Aspen Properties a file with the extension APR PPDF. This is a binary file, version dependent, and it's always going to be kept separate from the simulation file. So this is the least attractive option to use because it means maintaining two separate files and every time you change to a newer version of Aspen Absorption, you will have to regenerate this Aspen Properties Definition file. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the option of editing using Aspen Properties. So by clicking the button, I am starting the graphical user interface of Aspen Properties and what I want to do is create a properties file which contains two components, nitrogen and oxygen, and where I'm going to define um, Peng Robinson as the property method to use. So the first step, as you can see in the first empty form, is to enter a component ID. So this is the, this is the component label. Um, and I'm going to choose N2. When I press enter, Aspen Properties is searching in its pure component data banks and it finds the component alias that matches that component ID. So this component is known by the data banks and all its property data will be retrieved as needed. I'm going to add oxygen as well. If by any chance you enter a component ID which doesn't match the component name or alias in the Aspen Properties Pure Data Banks, you can then use the Find button to find the appropriate component alias or name in the data bank. If I click the Next button, it will take me to the Property Specifications form. And this is where I want to enter my property method, base method. So I want to choose Peng Robinson. And I still have another empty form here, which is the binary parameter forms, because Aspen Properties will always want you to review the binary property parameters to make sure they're there. And if I click Next again, I have all the basic input for this Aspen Properties file. Here you are able to still choose to enter your own property parameters, enter some raw property data that you can then use in estimation or data regression, and you can also modify some specifications, say for instance in the um, property method. For more information on that, you can look under Aspen Properties. I'm going to click OK because I'm happy with all the information I've entered. I don't require any more. And here I'm going to select OK again to generate the load module now. The load module has been generated. Uh, you can see at the bottom we have results available. So all that's left now is to save and exit Aspen Properties. You will notice that there is a file name here, propsplus.aprbkp. This is the file name you want. Do not change it. You can choose File, Exit, and it will prompt you to save the changes to propsplus.aprbkp. It is very important to answer yes here so that all this information is saved and embedded in the Aspen Absorption Simulation file. You can see now I have a green square in the property status and it, a message saying configured using embedded Aspen properties. 
So I can click OK here, and now I can look in the default component list. You can see you can add another component list, but I strongly advise you to use default if you don't need more than one component list, because this one is already set up for the flow sheet. If you choose a different name, you will have the extra step of making sure the flow sheet is going to use your named component list rather than default. So we can see here um, that we have available components, nitrogen and oxygen. I could have defined more in the Aspen Properties file, so I could have a longer list here. And then I can just pick the ones I want to use um, to the right-hand side. Uh, in this case, I want to pick them all, so I'm going to use the double arrow. And this selects both components to be used in the simulation. I can click OK now, and I have my simulation set up to use Aspen properties and to retrieve the properties for components nitrogen and oxygen.